Welcome back to Long Box Diving, where we explore comics and story arcs pulled from the long box. That's how you say it. <laughs> Just waiting for the peanut gallery to chime in, because usually they have something else to say at that point. <laughs> All right, so it is time for our live, live stream and comic haul. Um, hey, hey, comic collector, what's up? How you doing, man? Um we got a lot. We got some news coming out from the comic industry that I found interesting. I don't know if everybody will find it interesting. I don't know if they'll find it interesting. Some of it, um, but I found it interesting. And then we got, <laughs> no, we got a, a yeah. lot of comics to go through, and that's um, just this is pretty much only what I got Friday. There's a big stack over there somewhere that I got Saturday. Um, and then I got this Friday too. So we got a lot of stuff to go through. Yeah. Um, a lot of comics. And um, it's a mental disorder. But first, who are we? I am D. That is. E. That is. And I'm not feeling it today. Um, that is <laughs> that is Jay. Jay apparently hasn't had his monster yet. Yeah. Not under uh, support or anything of like that, so I'm not a shot. But, but yeah, he hasn't had his caffeine, um, so he's a little down. Mm. Poor Jay. Oh, we feel so bad. Mm. Um, but let's... Okay, so first... Hey, Superior. Glad you made it back. Um, first... Want to go through some comics? Yeah. All right, let's go through yeah. some comics first. Yeah, uh, actually. We got some, some simple stuff. Uh, uh, something to fill my run here. Thunderbolts, one seventeen. Thunder, thunder. Um, needed to fill my. I needed to fill some holes in my thunderbolts, so I got that. <laughs> um, let me see. What if they did a thunderbolts and thundercats crossover? <laughs> <laughs> that the same thing. That's, I mean. that's exact. That's the yes. next. That's the next shot. All right. Talk. Then, then we were able to pick up Daredevil two thirty six. I like these uh, 25th anniversary <laughs> covers. Um, I don't have them all, but I have a few of them now. Um, I actually think I got a Captain America one in there, too. Um, but, yeah, I, I like these. They're really cool looking. Um, so Daredevil 236. Is that Sabretooth? Yeah. Um, then I got Daredevil. Hey, Perry. 238. Hey, Perry. How you doing, man? Hey, Katrin. And that, that's just a clean cover. Uh, I, I, I do like this cover. That's a classic Marvel cover. Yeah, yeah. Katoon, I got. Uh, I actually have a lot of sorting to do tomorrow. I haven't told them. I won't um, be here. But, but we're, we're going to be sorting books tomorrow because it's President's Day and I don't have to work. Um, hey, Rob, how you doing, man? Um, all right, so first piece of news, really quick. <laughs> He's like, I won't be there. It's, I got work. I do, have to, I oh. do have to work, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, Everybody know, I think I just heard that Supergirl is getting canceled at issue 42. Um, actually, yeah. Supergirl was probably my favorite super, super person. Um, super series. After Bendis took over Superman, um, Supergirl. <laughs> but I, I didn't really collect it, so I don't know if anybody else collects it. But definitely issue 42. All right, so I, Rod's not here. And I didn't know Rod was, Rod was looking for these books, uh, Marvel team-ups. Um, hey, Rob. But I, I actually got a lot of Marvel team-ups uh, Friday. And so um, I got a lot of Marvel team-ups <laughs> Friday. And, but, and these were actually really, I mean, I was very excited about this because um, we went there to the flea market to go through the dollar books. And, yeah. and the guy's like, you know, there, he, he, he was supposed to go to a storage shed and get a bunch more. When I got there, he's like, well, I bought a small collection. They're kind of sorted through there. So I didn't get, uh, I didn't actually get a lot of new stuff in, but I have this box under this table and he lifts the, what is it, like a tablecloth and he's got a box under there and he pulls it out, sets it up. He goes, you can have everything in here for a dollar. Like, cool. Um, I'm going to look through this box real quick. <laughs> and and the, the first one I pulled out was Marvel team ups number 13. Uh, yeah, that's back to the Silver Look at Age. That. That's like Silver Age, but it's like 1972, 1973. Um, that's a 20 center. Look at that. It's 
when Spider Man had a sphere. So Spider Man and Captain America. Yeah, that's a. And then the next one I found was Spider Man and the Savage Submariner, and so Marvel Team Up number fourteen. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, and only in this book is he savage. That's probably wrong. I mean, they're not they're <laughs> not in the the super best condition, but it's not bad. Um, and like I yeah. said, I, I I'm a lot like uh, some others. It's like I'd like comics, and we like to pull comics just to just to keep them um, because you know get them destroyed and thrown away. It's sad. Yeah, it's for preservation, not prosperation. Exactly, Preser preservation, not <laughs> prosper. Oh, All right, so here is Marvel team up Spider Man Boy. number fifteen. Um, I believe yes. <laughs> um, this is the first appearance of Spider-Man and Ghost Rider together. And yes, Rob, um, we paid just a dollar. For most of them. Yeah. All right, so Spider-Man and Ghost Rider. This, I believe this is the first appearance of those two doing a team-up. Um, then we got Marvel team-up Spider-Man and Black Panther. So number 20. <laughs> Spider Man's the one falling, and Black Panther's the one swinging. It's great. <laughs> Mile High Murder. Yeah, there's like a dinosaur on there, too. Yeah, oh, there's Stegron, the dinosaur man. Hey, Captain Comics. Hey, Captain. How you doing, man? All right. Then we picked up uh, Marvel Team Up, Spider Man, and Doctor Strange, number 21. Which, yeah, that's. Um, then we got uh, Marvel Team Up number 22. Spider-Man and Hawkeye. Spider-Man and Hawkeye. And honestly, I haven't read a lot of Marvel Team Ups before. And, and so when I saw these, I'm like, wow, th these are cool. Um, so I'm planning to read them. I plan to read them all because I read everything <laughs> I get. Um, eventually. Eventually. It takes me a little bit. but <laughs> um, I'm on uh, comic 300 and... 50 or so already this year. So um, Marvel team up number 23. Q. Uh, classic pairing right here. Iceman and um, Johnny, the human torch. So there's no Spider-Man in this one. Yeah. That, which, which is odd. Cause like Spider-Man was their marketing. Yeah. For a long time. But Again, I, I didn't have. Hey, Hey, Hunter Thomas, how you doing, man? I didn't have any Silver Age bags and boards, so I had to leave them in the bags they came in because I, I, I didn't want to try to shove them into a modern age yeah. bag. Um, Marvel team up. Ooh, Human Torch Human and Torch Iron and man. Iron Man, so number 29. Um, look at that. It's like Iron Man's overheating there. Yeah, well, he's he's playing Anthem. All right, so Marvel team up Spider Man and Iron Fist number thirty one. <laughs> yes. And so this fit good in the the the, the new modern age bag. So. Oh my goodness, um, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. And we got uh, Marvel team up Human Torch and the Son of Satan. Son of Satan number thirty two. All right, hey, uh, you know, uh, they just announced that Marvel is doing a new super team. I love team. Up. I love teams. Yes. Uh, I collect a lot of teams. A lot of teams. Uh, a lot. As they'll tell you. It's a, so many stupid teams. Um, Freaking Marvel. And, and so. X-Force, X-Factor. Let me see. Yeah, here we go. X-Men. So here actually is this. I just heard this announcement that they're, they're creating a new super team called the Union. Now I recognize this guy, uh, the Union Jack. I don't recognize her. This kind of looks like Megan, but with pink hair. I don't know how, who this guy or who this guy is. So if anybody knows who these guys are, it's supposed to come out the 18th. This is the first I've heard of it. It's two days from now. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys happen to know anything about this, let me know. All right. As a side note, a little uh, little rabbit trail. Rabbit trail. All right. So Marvel team up number 34, uh, Spider Man and the Valkyrie. V Valkyrie, the only one left. A yes, Valkyrie. Bru Brunhilda. <laughs> no, not not the new only Valkyrie, the original Valkyrie. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
And he's going to throw a grandfather clock. Put that clock down, pasty fade. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, Human Torch <laughs> and Doctor Strange, number as uh, Marvel team at number thirty-five. I kind of like I kind of like the idea of of the Marvel team ups. Well, yeah. I do too. It's 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 a good way to introduce characters who wouldn't normally be together, right? And I say you've, you that looks like Valkyrie, Valkyrie. in there too. I um, mean, this is basically shop like, talks put to action. Does that look like Valkyrie? Actually, I yes. So. I think that looks like Valkyrie to me. A lot like Valkyrie. Yep. Well, I mean, they're both blonde and but and blue capes. But and she's wearing long set. Yeah, uh, oh, different color sandals. It's not Valkyrie. <laughs> <nice. laughs> um, I read I read Marvel Team Up's fifty five. All right, Hunter Man, thanks for joining us. Have a have a good uh, good night. Um, I read Marvel Team was fifty five. It was uh, Warlock with Spider Man. That was really cool. And apparently, the first appearance of the Power Stone and the Time Stone, Ooh. or the or the Spirit Stone, something like that. But that was pretty cool. Um, and so I was like, man, this is great. It's great. All right, Spot Marvel Team of Spider Man and the Frankenstein the Monster. Frankenstein Monster number twenty six or thirty six. Look at that. Bedlam in the Balkans. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. And then Marvel team up. Spider-Man and Man-Wolf. So number 37. Wolfman. Spider-Man and the Wolf Man-Wolf. Huh. Yeah. Spider-Man and team. Yeah. That's, that's cool looking. All right. Uh, Marvel team up number thirty nine, Spider Man and the Human Torch. Again, well, yeah. Now this is Spider Man and the Human Torch, but not Spider Man, uh, not Human Torch and Ice Man. I could have sworn Spider Man and Human Torch. Are well, yeah, they team up a lot. That's All right, so bad. one second more, and the Web Slinger dies. I wonder who that bad guy is. Uh, is oh no, that's um oh. I don't recognize him. I feel like I've seen him before. All uh, right, Marvel team up forty. Spider-Man and the Sons of the Tiger. <laughs> Sons of the Tiger. Look, Johnny Storm's down too. Mm, that's not good. It says side by side with Mar Marvel's mightiest masters of the martial arts. It's hey, Grayman, how dude. you doing, man? Hey, Grayman. Yeah, that is the same dude from the last, the last issue. Oh, there's some there's some carryover. That's cool. All right, Marvel team up number forty one. Well, I mean, the last one was Human Torch going after that dude, and now it's Spider-Man and Human Torch on the ground. Hey, Craig69, how you doing, man? Uh, so we got Spider-Man and the Scarlet Witch, and a, a guy named Witch Slayer. Ooh. Hey, that sounds like a, a good episode for your uh, obscure characters there, Jay. <laughs> Wanda, um, your, your mind belongs to Cotton Mather. Yeah. You, you know who Cotton Mather is? I do not. Yes, Gray Man, you missed the, you missed the earlier ones. Um, we got we got some good ones that we we picked up because I went there for the dollar bins, and he's like, "Well, here," and he pulled it out from under a table. He goes, "Here, just take out of here because I didn't have anything. I didn't get to the uh, storage unit." Do you know who Cotton Mather is? No, I do not. Salem Witch Chop. No, he didn't I pay failed attention. him. I failed him. He didn't right. pay attention in his Marvel class. team up. Spider Man and the Vision, number forty two. Yeah, he got he gave us some Marvel team ups and some, some nice Silver Age ones. It was, it was cool. <laughs> I kept picking out some uh, some other just regular issues. Dad's like, no, nah, just put them back. Just, I'm across the table going, just put it back. We can't afford this. Put it back. <laughs> oh, Cry Master, that's that's who the uh, the, the purple master is. Cry Master, crime, crime master. All right, Marvel team up, Spider Man and Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Number 43. I wonder what he did to get that title. Be a mob boss. Probably tried to out Pizza the Hut. No, you cannot beat Dollar Boat. I, I love going to the flea market and getting Dollar Boats. Um, I went to another flea market <laughs> on Saturday down in Melbourne. Um, yeah. And we went through, my daughter and I went through a bunch of back issues. Um, we, we only bought a few because I'd already went to another one at the mm -hmm. flea market and bought a bunch. Mm -hmm. So... But he's like, hey, well, next time you come in, um, I'll give you a discount on a whole short box. Ooh. So we'll deeply discount it. So maybe, maybe I can start getting some 50 cents comics. All right. <laughs> That's the hope. I'm hoping. 
All right, so Marvel Team Up 46, Spider Man, and Deathlock. Yeah, Death the, the uh, owner of the store is an old man, and he's pretty nice. Man, they had so many boxes there. It was crazy. Um, but one thing I did notice, there was a lot more newer stuff. So, But I, I've only been through like six out of the uh, 57, 58 boxes. But even then, like a dollar for, for newer runs that, that you yep. enjoy is not bad. Not bad. Um, Marvel Team Up 47, Spider-Man and the Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, there's already a lot of us here, so why not? Yeah. Come for a trip. We'll go. We'll hit all the flea markets. And yeah, like the flea market closest to us has three stores in uh, three places in this, the uh, in the flea market that sells comics. And the one about an hour, hour and a half away has at least two stores and one small booth that has comics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there's a lot of uh, content creators like us who enjoy comics that are awesome in Florida. So yeah. MegaCon is going to be huge. Mega, for, we, for, yeah, for and we're going to go, we're going to MegaCon. Uh, sadly, um, Rod's not. Oh. We are. I'm hoping he will it at least for a day. Mark. But you know, he's going to take the day off. He's going to have to buy his own ticket. Um, I actually told the wife we're going to get uh we're going to buy T-shirts. LBD D LBD E LBD J. How's that? What color T-shirts? LBD and then. Your your name on the back. Okay, yeah, and it's just like a simple T-shirt. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> that took you so it took long. Me so long to figure out what that meant. <laughs> Listen, the good thing they're good looking because there's not a oh. lot of. <laughs> All right, so Marvel team up fifty. <laughs> Spider Man and Doctor Strange. He hasn't had enough caffeine today. Uh, His I, brain's I, I not said working. Straight up, I've not had enough caffeine. <laughs> I like that cover and all the the uh, look at it like stone. Yes, of fits course, on sale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. All right. Um, Strange looks mad there. Oh well, yeah. Marvel but... team up fifty one. Spider Man and Iron Man. Chaos. In the hey, hey, wait. Is that the first time Spider Man and Iron Man work together? Probably mm, so not. I, I don't know. I don't think so. That'd be cool. Um, Marvel team up fifty six. Spider-Man and Daredevil versus the Shocker. Uh, that's Electro. Shocker's. Uh, I misread that. Then Shocker's yellow and brown. Yeah, different dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> different, different dude. He's, he's got this you know, yellow stripes. I know. Yeah. Yeah. When I first saw these gray men, I saw the box. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Mm. Are you sure that you're giving me? The, the, are you sure for a dollar? Yes. I'm like, okay. Cool. I'm like looking at him going. Uh, uh, Spider Marvel Team Up Spider Man and the Black Widow. This is the Silver Look at that. Samurai. Look at that. Black Widow is met. Look at She's torn. That's that's been an interesting theme with all of these comics so far. Is, is the supporting characters in, in a lot of danger? Yeah. Look at this Silver Samurai. Look at him. <laughs> you won't work in space. Huh? <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> Marvel Team Up Spider Man and the Ghost Rider, Ooh. number 58. And see all these books from, I mean, this one's from 1977. Yeah, it's gone from 20 cents to 25 to 30. So you can see the, uh, the price go up. That's, that's fun. This time, Spider Man is in, a, in, in a, and he's in danger by Trapster. All right. Marvel Team Ups, number 61, Spider Man and the Human oh, cool. Torch. Yeah, number nine is the first Marvel. Uh, yeah, the Spider earliest we yet. have is thirteen. Yeah, the the yeah the earliest we got was thirteen, and then I think fifteen was the first Spider Man and Ghost Rider. Yeah, um, which was we were really excited about that. That was fantastic to get that. All right, but Mister Fantastic it looks like he's oh it looks like he punched Spider Man. All right, uh, Spider Man and Captain Britain. Captain Marvel team Britain. up number sixty six. Oh. Look at that. Arcade. That would be a fun game of pinball. Not if you're inside. If you lose, you die. Wow. <laughs> if you die in the game, you die in real life. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, yeah, that's true, Gray Man. That's how it seems to run with me, too. Uh, did anybody see uh, that the, the Joker's getting a new girlfriend? Yeah. yeah. What do you think about that? 
Uh, do we need another it's Harley? It's always been Joker and Harley. I mean, I mean, do we need another Harley Quinn? No. If 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 Joker can't keep it with Harley, then he... I mean, Joker's already a terrible person. We don't need him to just bounce off of Harley and get to a new uh, girlfriend. <laughs> You're, yeah, that's a pity date. All right, so uh, Marvel team up sixty eight. I wonder how long she'll stick around. Punch, punch <laughs> <Not> line. <long. laughs> Spider Man and the Man Thing. Look, look at that. Look at he looks great in that. The Man Thing. Yeah, Man Thing's a cool character. Mm. Dude looks sick. All right, and then we have Marvel team ups number one twenty. Spider Man and Dominic Fortune. Dominic Ooh. Fortune. Fortune. Stand aside, Spider. Is that how he sounds? <laughs> head, he In his head, like he that. does. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Stand aside, Spider. You are oh. sound. All right. Then we have uh, Marvel Team Ups one twenty one. Spider Man and the Human Torch. Owner of uh, Spidey and the Torch. Uh, if those runs connect, uh, with you, probably uh, not. Um, like any more than it does from one issue to another. I think some one issue to another do connect, but I don't think it actually that individual team ups like uh, Spider Man the Ghost Rider. Um, it's supposed to be a one. Well, here, here's like Marvel team of Spider Man and the Man Thing 122. Wow, that is, looks like Spider Man's being killed. Look at that. That's it, is Spider Man being absorbed into Man Thing? Yes, that is so cool and gross at the same time. Hannigan and Milgram 1982. That looks yeah. I figured, but See, that looks awesome. awesome. I was hoping. Like the one I read in 55, it, it picked up with Spider-Man in the spaceship getting launched off from the last issue. And then he met up with Warlock out in space. So okay. they tied, but they didn't really tie. These covers are really actually pretty cool. Uh, Marvel team up number 123, Spider-Man and Daredevil. Yeah. All right. Spider-Man. Marvel team up Spider-Man. Marvel team up 124. Um Spider-Man and the Beast. I have a question. Okay, Spider Spider-Man has spidey senses. Yeah. Uh but Daredevil can s technically sense or feel uses senses to know what's happening around him. Think about it this way. It's in D&D &D, it'd be the difference between blind sight and danger sense. Uh, yeah, Spider-Man can sense when something's going about to happen to him, where Daredevil can sense what's happening around him, not necessarily what's going to happen in the future. Yeah, The Spider-Man gets like a couple seconds ahead. Not what's going to happen, but that something is something going to is, happen. Is happening, yeah. All right, so uh, Marvel Team Up, 125. Um, Spider-Man and Tigra. Okay, so Spider-Man's more of a... The fight's about to begin in three, two. <laughs> no, it's more like, oh, I'm about to get hit by a trap. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Marvel team up 126. Ooh. Um, this is interesting. It's, it's Spider-Man and the Hulk and then Power, Power Man, Man and, and the Son, Son of Satan. Satan. Um, and this is a pretty cool looking cover too. <laughs> Can Daredevil sense Spider-Man's Spidey sense? Uh, I don't think not. so. Though we do have a new shop talk premiering tomorrow. Tomorrow. Where the topic, I'll give you the topic. A little bit of tidbit. What is the best offensive teleportation ability? Yeah. We Jay and I spent a long time going through different teleportation abilities in both DC and Marvel and other places and lots what, of types of teleportation. How they can be used offensively and how we thought what we thought would make the best offensive teleportation. And they thought about it logically using physics. We did use physics. All right. Marvel team up Spider-Man 127. Uh, Spider-Man and the Watcher. I thought the Watcher's not supposed to get involved. <laughs> Spider-Man and the Watcher. Uh, it's a Christmas special. It's a team up, but they, you know, he just was standing there. Yeah. So Ooh. that, that could be considered a team up. Okay. This it's got to be one of the worst covers I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw his face. Oh no. Oh, it's great. This reminds me of the old 1980s. Yes. Um, Green screens. When they had no. the, the Thanksgiving parade. Yeah. Mm. That's part of it. What would be what, what teleportation ability where you can redirect attacks, 
Um, can you move groups? Can you teleport people? Can you teleport pieces of a person? Can you put a teleportation inside a person? Can the teleportation or, only work one way? A lot of different things. All right. We, we, we looked at a lot of different things. It's, it's You're like, going to have to tune in. It took, it's like a 45 minute video. <laughs> we talked for so long. Yeah. Right. But, but it was awesome. We had so much fun. It and it, fun. And it's just us. All right. So this is the worst. It's like they tried to draw a person, but they managed to draw a cardboard cutout. And then a real person in a cardboard cutout oh. and then laid it on top of a real picture. It's horrible. All right. Let's, we're holding off on it. Marvel team up, Spider Man and Captain America. That's <laughs> number 128. This has got to be one of the worst covers uh, I've ever seen. I don't know about you guys, but look at look at Spider Man. <laughs> look how bad that looks. Look at Captain America's face. <laughs> we are not at a movie premiere. It, it actually looked like they took shots of the Thanksgiving parade guys. Yeah. And then put them on a cover. Um, if Ant-Man goes smaller than the particles of oxygen, can he still breathe? Well, the better question is, does his oxygen get uh, reduced alongside him? If he's the size of an molecule, does he need to breathe? You, you always see him having a helmet, so maybe he has oxygen with him. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have not thought about that. Another shop talk. I think it's from the Thanksgiving parade, uh, Gray Man. I think it, that old there was a Thanksgiving parade where they had a Marvel float. <laughs> that said, it does look like the the Captain America movie uh, guy. Maybe it's that too. Maybe yeah, not. that movie. Oh my goodness, that was awful. All right, so Marvel team up: Spider Man and the Vision, number uh, one twenty nine. I'm glad they remade Captain oh, America. God, I have to find out why it looks like this. <laughs> he made him try to uh, scoop up. I mean, in the movie, he went into the the uh, other realm for like a long time, but the time quantum. the quantum realm for a long time, and but and so did the mom, right? But in the comics, is that the way he does it? Yeah, I don't think. I think when you shrink to subatomic level, um, I don't think you necessarily have to breathe. Or the oxygen you have in your system will last you a long time because you're really tiny. But the oxygen is also really tiny. Or maybe he has a rebreather where he cy cycles Ooh. the oxygen through a scrubber. All right, uh, Marvel Comics 130. Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man, and the Scarlet Witch. Which... Speaking of rebreather. <laughs> yeah, we might have to change, change our intro sounds. Yes. I was asked again if my video introduction intro thing is a bong it's not no it's a scuba regulator underneath the water um and i think i might have to change that because it's not the first time i've been asked um one of these is the first appearance of frogman by the way Ooh. i just don't remember which one it was all right so here's marvel comics um yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh spider-man and frogman team up 131 floridians are just a bunch of potheads apparently <laughs> All right, and this one's a little beat up. Uh, Marvel Spider Man. Yeah. Marvel Team Up Spider Man and Nomad number 146. But it fits Spider Man. So. <laughs> yeah, that is a photo somebody took and put it on a comic cover, and then they kind of painted on top of it. Look at Taskmaster. It's got Nomad. And we got Spider Man in the black suit. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Um, Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man and the Human Torch, 147. So, uh, Gray Man likes the White Rabbit, huh? Um, Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man and the Mighty Thor, number 148. <laughs> like hey, Comic Ed, how you doing, man? Um, yeah, yeah, he's being yanked off. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think Spider-Man actually picked up the hammer here. No, I, no, think, I think he grabbed it. I him. think he's going for a ride. Yeah. Uh, the Nomad one was uh, 1984. Ooh. 1984, rough. Ooh, that's old. 
not that old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, so that was uh, so you got Spider Man and the Mighty Thor. It's very animated, and I, I enjoy that. Marvel team up Spider Man and Cannibal number one forty nine. Um, that's a giant fuzzy looking dude. Is yeah, who is this giant cloud? Is that a cloud dude? <laughs> Just smug. It's it's them saving the world one one evil smug person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not, let's see. See what aggressively I actually just said. Nineteen eighty-four. That's old. Dislike. Un, thumbs down. Unsubscribe. And it's all your fault. You did it. It's on you. I mean, oh, that is... he thinks anything in the two thousands. Well, now, just Rika, did, did you get to see this whole thing? We just finished almost all of the Marvel team ups. We just finished all the Marvel team ups. This is actually the last Marvel team up. All right, so. Hey, let yeah, me show the last one here, which you already have, Rod. Um, Spider Man and the Uncanny X Men number one fifty. This is this is a cool comic, but um, yeah. but but look at this, Rod. I told you earlier that I got a few. I, a few, yeah. A few, yeah. Like number thirteen and fifteen. Like uh, number fifteen. Nice. Yeah, got a few of those, man. So you no, you, you, you know what I'm gonna? All of them. No, I don't have all 150. I got 35, 40 of them. Um, so yeah, that 15 is like the first appearance of Ghost Rider and uh, Spider Man together. So you you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm looking at your list, Rob. And like uh, like I told, I said earlier, I, I walked into the flea market and I was, the guy hadn't gone to the storage unit yet. And I'm like, start looking through the boxes again. I'm like, yeah, there's not much new here. He goes, well, I have this. And he lifted up this uh, um, tablecloth and underneath the table, he goes, I have this box. It's not Dollar Comics, but I haven't put them out for it. So you, you, can, have, you can have them for a dollar. And he pulls out the box and sets it up there. And I get all of that out of there. And then I grabbed this stuff. Now, um, so here's some uh, old Fantastic Fours that I picked up. Yeah, man, it's the yeah. least we can do after what you're sending us. Yeah, Fantastic Four, um, 323. This is a community. We, we, we help each other. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to look through your list and uh, see what holes I can fill in, Rob. Rob. All right, Fantastic Four, 334. Okay. Though... Though you missed them all, yeah. <laughs> so you don't even know what I have. Still, you're just gonna, you're just gonna have back. to rewatch You're just gonna have to rewatch it and see what the, see what's in the list, man. All right, so Fantastic Four, three fifty nine. This I actually like this cover. This one is is Fantastic Four, three sixty. Yeah. Well, I mean that's that's a good looking cover, Ryan. Bolnade, Bolnadi. All right, then I got some old Captain Americas. Now, I don't necessarily, I don't normally collect Captain America, but a lot of these seemed. I mean, when I was looking through the key app, a lot of them seemed like there were keys of some sort. And I'm like, well, I'll go ahead and get them, and maybe somebody out in the community needs some Captain Americas. They're minor keys. They're not big keys. They're minor key stuff. Um, but if anybody needs it, just you know, you know, you got my email. It's hooked up everywhere. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Yeah, he sent um, it again in the, in the chat. So here's Captain America 316. Armadillo Armadillo attacks 82 stories high. That is an interesting villain. Just an, a giant armadillo. And he's not necessarily a bad guy all the time. Um, here's Captain America 317. <laughs> Look how Hawkeye's on his uh, flying moped. I got this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Captain America's going to take over Hawkeye's job. Well, it's not exactly hard to shoot a bow and arrow. Do you think Captain America could be as good as Hawkeye at bow and arrows? No. Yes. Another shop talk. No. Another shop talk. Yeah. Yes. Woo! And, now, Bullseye, no. But Hawkeye, yes. All right. Captain America 318. 
um, Captain America on a motorcycle. More on wheels. Look at he looks like Evil Knievel. And then he's chasing a dude on roller skates. Why in the world does Hawkeye get a moped? <laughs> he, he's Hawkeye. Hawkeye never gets the good equipment. <laughs> I mean, it is Hawkeye. Um, Captain America 319. Now, when Hawkeye turns to Ronan, that's like he's cool there. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> yeah, then he goes all ninja. You shouldn't be here. Uh, Captain America 322. I don't know who this... I don't know. Either. I don't know who this guy is in the black cape. Black and white man. <laughs> uh, I've seen his costume somewhere. Yeah, Captain America... I, I think, honestly, Captain America could be as good as Hawkeye. I mean, come on. He, I, I, <laughs> I was like, better. <laughs> All right, so uh, Captain America 323, like I said, I had, I got the Daredevil one as well, and so now I've got the 25th anniversary of what he looks like to me, Space Ghost. He, he is called Flag Smasher. Flag Smasher. And he's a Swiss. A Swiss called ah, Flag Smasher. All right, but here's no the- No wonder he's beating up Captain America. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the old one? Uh, this one 322. is- 322. 322, Rob, uh, with Flag Smasher. It looks like space. I think it looks like space ghost. Hanna Barbera. Well, I mean, Hawkeye has spent his adult life training for this. At least Cap can throw a shield. Captain Cap America is also strong. Can throw a shield and hit things and bring it, it back to him. Doesn't matter how far you pull it back. It's accuracy. It, you don't yes, think Captain America is accurate? And, and, and he, throws he a hasn't shield. practiced he throws with a, a bow and arrow. How many times has he missed with a shield? Not only that, but the more draw you can get on a bow. So thing. many times right, that they right, literally right, had right. to write it in the book that the shield comes back to him. Calm down. <laughs> oh. Yes. All right, so the 25, 25 uh, anniversary edition of <laughs> Captain America 323. 25th anniversary. Let's get this train back up its room. All right. Back back, back on the track. Um, in the movie, Spider-Man's like, that defies the laws of physics. Captain America <laughs> 327. To be fair, so does Spider-Man. Spider-Man's all about It's physics. comic books. Most of everything defies the laws of physics. I mean, our next shop talks about teleportation. I mean, yeah. not anymore. And we, now you, that we know where the superhero superpowers come from. Oh, yeah. That was another thing. Uh, if you read Marvel's... Uh, You're welcome. The, the boys give me crap all the time, Rod. This is like... A, but I've taught them to do that. To not take guff and to, to learn how to yeah. communicate. We're well, not and, sheeple. And, and to be able to receive guff, too, because... Yeah, they can give it, and they take it, so... So much, um, so much guff. But uh, Marvel's uh, Fantastic Four and X-Men actually yeah. show... They, they kind of postulate it where all the powers come from. Yeah, that's... that Flag Smashers in 322, right. Uh, but all, apparently there's a god particle for superpowers, or a god dimension, or god something... I wonder where they're going to go with that. Is that just Chip Zdarsky throwing something out, or is that something that's really going to be playing into um, the future of Marvel Comics? Right. So it uh, it comes with practice. Yeah, we. This is just our daily life, Rod. This is what I deal with yeah, off camera. We're just yeah. getting comfortable. It's not even a show anymore. Hey, Mark Spector, how you doing? Okay, this this next comic. All right, so here's Captain America <laughs> and the D Man. Ooh, it's great. It's the D Man. <laughs> the D Man. D Man. <laughs> not Daredevil. Not Wolverine. Not Demon. It's D Man. Oh. All right, so here was another minor key. Um, Captain America, no more. Um, three through two. <laughs> aggressively yeah that's what i'm saying right now cap can't out archer hawkeye yeah but he i think he has a leg up i mean what what is stated in the comics is that captain america has learned every martial art fighting style who's to say he did not learn every weapon that goes with every style because he doesn't use weapons you don't know that um, he has in World War II. Some, yeah, He's some, used weapons all the time. And somebody did use a bow in World War II. Just because he doesn't use a bow doesn't mean he can't use a bow. You know uh, you know how bad Hawkeye would feel if he actually had an archery competition with Captain America? 
Hake already feels less of a man. I mean, it's because he's up against I mean, that, that's a why millionaire. He's, that's why he started the West Coast Avengers because he's true. like, mm, Captain America's always up, up doing me. You know, <laughs> next thing I need, I have the bow is the only thing I have, man. All right, so Captain America, no more. This is where he, Steve Rogers, so like an assassin, Rob, he gives the D. Um, the demolition. All right, so Captain America no more. This is where Steve Rogers actually resigns as Captain America. So now, what co- what prompts that? I you... don't know. Oh, okay, I guess that's I something. <laughs> as I read these, I'll maybe because yeah, this is three twenty eight, three twenty seven. How did it? Oh, three thirty two. So, I mean, I don't have the ones leading up to it, but I mean, I can't wait to read that. Maybe it'll tell us why he quit. All right, then we have. Another minor key, Captain America 333. Who will be the next? Captain America. Who's going to be the next Captain America? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that Abe Lincoln on there was, I was like, wow, that is cool. I didn't know. I've now never seen the Abe Lincoln in the corner like that. No. Ooh. Hawkeye and Green Arrow. That's a good question, Captain Comics. I have to. Green Arrow. I have to look at Green Arrow more. I know the Marvel side better. Um. I know how good Hawkeye is. I don't know how good Green Arrow is. But I would say it'd probably be a tie unless you throw the girls into the mix and put in Mockingbird against Black Canary and then have a two-on-two. And I think mm. I think we might have uh, Green Arrow win that one. But All right. You need a... Good woman. Yeah. Well, Hawkeye does play dirty. He's also been giant man. Oh, and there, there, look at that. I got that from uh, Tacoma Comics, the first appearance of Clint Barton as Goliath. So he may take pin particles and grow and then like shoot. Big... <laughs> You're saying it like it's aspirin. He's going to take some pin, pin particles. <laughs> I think he still does sometimes use trick arrows. At least the last ones I've read. I haven't read a lot of the newer mm. Hawkeye stuff, so I don't know. But I would like to see the tag team. But he does, yeah. He plays dirty. He's done Ronin, where he's used swords and weapons yep. and ninja skills. So he's got skills other than just arrows. Now, I mean, I don't know. Back in the West Coast Avengers, all he could do is shoot trick shots. All right, so Captain America and Bucky, number three thirty-four. This was, I believe, became U.S. Avenger. I don't remember his name now. John. Ah, uh, who is this guy? Come on, guys. Somebody's got to know this. Became mm. Captain America after a hey, toy it crunch. May, it may be a US Avenger. Um, it was the guy who become, goes on to become US Avenger, I believe. John, US agent. US agent. 334? Yeah. Captain America 334. John Walker. John Walker. That's it. And uh, a new Bucky. Look at that. Bucky has grown up, become a full fledged man. <laughs> Battlestar? Who, who, yeah, who's named Battlestar now? So Is it really? Yeah. Cool. All right, Captain America 335. Yeah, I was telling uh, the, the guys earlier, it, I went went to the flea market to go for the dollar books, and he's like, well, I don't, I didn't get my new stuff out. So here, look through this one. They're not really dollar books, but you can have them for a dollar. And, and, and of course... So see, we basically stole them. No, well, that's no, not, no. That is not what you said. I said, are you sure? And he's like, yes. He's over there grabbing you know dollar books out. I'm like, put it back. Put it back. I'm spending everything we have right in this box. Yeah. And so, yeah. Bucky becomes Battlestar. Yeah, I think so. You're right. Um, Captain America 335. John Walker here. But I'm trying to do it surreptitiously. We're like, because I don't want the guy to do to change his mind that I'm like, oh, I love everything in here. I, I, oh, these are okay. <laughs> um, Captain America 336. Um. So yeah, everything I sorted through just went back in. I was very useless that day. Yeah, he put. I, I got like put it back. <laughs> really, in this one. Hey, Mike. Oh, nice. Hey, Mike Rogers, how you doing? So the death, maybe this death of uh, Walker's parents are in this. I don't know. I know there was a lot. I mean. So that's that's the U.S. agent uh, costume. No, it right? says Steve Rogers fights again. All right, so Captain America three thirty seven. Um, 
So we got D-Man. Steve Rogers is now in U.S. D-Man's agent. Back. But look at D-Man's back. Um, Falcon and Nomad. Look at that. That's that's a great team up right there. This is actually a team I would like to read. Yeah. Steve Rogers, Nomad, Falcon, and D-Man. Because For- Captain America has sidekicks, but they're, they're like they are a team. Uh, that is- Thanks, Mike. Yeah, that's one of the things Captain America has done better than like Spider Man. Uh, no, uh, Iron Man, where his teammates, his sidekicks aren't really sidekicks, they're more teammates. Yes. All right, Captain America 340. Yeah. Captain America 341. I, I heard. Versus Iron Man. I believe this is a minor key of some sort. It's duped. <gasps> but it's it's a minor key, so I thought it was a minor key. Let me I'm looking real quick on my phone. So here's Captain America 341, Cap and Iron Man. Uh the 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 internet in the flea market is not <laughs> the best. So I'm looking yeah. through all this stuff at the same time as I'm trying to pull. Yeah. So this is the uh. first. So this is the first appearance of Lemar Hoskins as Battlestar. Um, and he's also rumored to be showing up in the Falcon and Winter Soldier Disney series. So that's, that, that's the issue where he goes from Bucky to, to Battlestar. Um, this is also the first appearance of Rock Python, first cameo of Coach Whip, first cameo of Boom Slang, first appearance of Left Winger and Right Winger, and it is also <laughs> a nice cover homage to Daredevil 43. So I saw that, and I'm like, oh, guess what? There just happens to be uh, two of them in there. Yeah, when is the uh, first uh, Cap versus Iron Man? Uh, but with with the, the whole Battlestar thing, and if they're in the, uh, uh, if he's in the Disney Plus Winter Soldier, you know maybe this might be some worth some money. I don't know, but I grabbed two because they're only a dollar each. So we're selling them for three hundred. <laughs> no, come on. No, I, I probably five hundred. <laughs> yeah, come on. All those Disney people will buy. It. Uh, All right, so Captain America three forty two. Viper. There's a snake in our. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we, we we were we were so happy to see this. It was great. Um, then we got Captain America three forty three. Okay, so we've talked about the reason of superpowers. We talked about uh, death metal. Uh, no, we no, didn't we talk about talked about death metal. Ooh. All right, so um, I don't know if anybody's interested in it. But DC has a new death metal. Um, have, you, have anybody seen this picture? Let me see if I can find it here. Huh. Is anybody looking forward to this? Um, it kind of it kind of comes out of the whole uh, of the JLA thing, and they kind of split separate ways. I don't know. It looks cool to me. I mean, look at that. You got the chainsaw. You got the sight uh, and blood on it. It looks really cool. So we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. I don't know if anybody else is. I mean, yeah. I mean, it look it looks really cool. I mean, Batman with a scythe. That is just the harbinger of death right there. Yes, and chainsaws. nice, Craig. I didn't actually realize that, Craig. That's a that's a good frame. Yeah, the chainsaw thing looked looked crazy. I mean, that's a classic cap move right there. Yep. And he did the same thing. I mean, basically in the, the first Civil War, right? Where I, yeah. you know, I'm not going to register that, but. All right, so yeah. this is the start. I'm not going to end up going through all this. Yeah, I nice. got a bunch more over there. But this is the start of what I got Saturday. This was buy one, get one free, and they're only a dollar each. So, so 50 cents. I, I do have to go through and rebag all these. but uh, At some point. Yeah, tomorrow. I won't be here. I know. So... Teen t- New Teen Titans number thirty two. Yeah, yeah. I- I'd like to see that Pentagon thing. I haven't actually read the whole thing. I haven't read a lot of Captain America because um, a-, a lot of stuff I was collecting through the time is is just team books. Um, New Teen Titans number twenty seven. I remember Thunder and Lightning from the TV show um, as villains. 
That, that is probably where I first saw these two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The uh, the the good Teen Titans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The new Teen Titans number um, eighteen. Yeah, uh, they have it on the Disney Plus, I think. No, no, no. That's, it's a cartoon. Yeah, network that's a Cartoon thing. Network thing. Look, at, um, we're going to lose more people now because you keep you're saying just, DC uh, and Marvel. Let's be, come on. No, I wear, like thumbs down. I I, I that, watched it again somewhere. I can't that kid in the it. middle stinks. Get him off the air. <laughs> he just keeps giving guff over here. That's a foul over here, by the way. <laughs> All right, New Teen Titans number twenty five. Uh, no, but I I watched uh I rewatched like all of the seasons. Yeah, it's it was it, it, it was, was a really good. Uh, and they ended they ended so poorly. I know. With such a cliffhanger. Uh, they're supposed to bring you. Back yeah, soon. the uh the Teen Titans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, uh, they're supposed to bring you back. Here soon. is Teen Titans number one. Yes, middle kid is hot garbage water. <laughs> he needs hot dog a, water over here. He needs a hat, man. He needs a hat. To get his groove back, he's lost his mojo. Oh, he's. Oh my goodness! I mean, you know, we all we all need we need the the uh, the humor in the middle. He, that's what he's here for is to be laughed at. I'm the Simon. Yeah, you're the Simon. All right, Excalibur twenty one. Hmm. I've actually started this run. Yes, he needs a John Deere hat. Um, I've just started refilling my refilling my Excalibur run. So. Um, I picked up that one, 21. Which is probably what I want to start reading once I finish that factor. Uh, 22. Excalibur? Excalibur. Yeah. As long as you do a run on the demon. And this this was sad. And it's number five was really messed up. But like we said, we like to rescue comments from the bin of obscurity. Oh, the book, not the story. <laughs> yeah, the book was messed up. Yes, there's always a kid in the middle. And he actually is the middle child. Well, one of the middle children. Um, so he always gets the guff. Um, but he'll, he'll turn out to be a strong, well-rounded citizen that gets mocked. <laughs> I was mocked as a kid. I know how to deal with it. All right, uh, Excalibur number four. Ooh, did you see this? Oh, cool. Yeah. So that was the back of it, number five. Hmm. <laughs> nice. All right, then we got Excalibur number four. Oh, all of them have nice backs. So look at that. What a weird cover. It's Stanley the Genuine. His yeah. name is Ajax. Cover, you mean with huge muscular heroes and um, beautiful erotic females engaging in gratuitous violence against sinister criminal super brains and their ugly, stupid henchmen and exotic, moody, high-tech subterranean bases and eternal struggle to prevent the good washed away in the tide of chaotic evil mayhem. Sorry, mate. You'll have to look inside for that. I love that. That was awesome. That I, I'm so down for that humor. But look at this. Look at that. Look at the back, Megan. That's a great, great back of the show. I that that cover. I am so down for that humor. All right. So here is Excalibur number one. <laughs> um. Again, look at the top. I mean, it's it's it is kind of messed up. Um. But it, it's my number one right now, so I got it. Um. And but look at the back. Huh. I I really like I five mean, for a pound. Nice. Nice, Gray Man. I like that. I really like that. They hey Bake the Snake. Welcome, man. The whole good to see you here. Back I like this cover on the back. Alan Davis. Mm. It's All just right. it's like a free page for you to do some cool artwork. I, I love that. Uh, so Excalibur 14. This is a great cover. Look at Wait, this. Wait, is that a double cover? You, well, you see, yeah. So you got Doctor Strange. Iron Man, so you know, what, what, Medusa, and then we have the back, right? Look at Daredevil, Silver Surfer, but who is that? Quicksilver. <laughs> then somebody crushed. Is that, see that one Quicksilver? I don't know who got crushed there. A bunch of people, actually. It looked like two or three people. But look at Quicksilver. Uh. <laughs> oh, dude, he looks like me. <laughs> oh. Oh, and look at this is cool too. Captain Deathlock. And, and is that Loki with Thor's hammer? Yeah, it's it looks like a bunch of mashed up characters. 
and some of them are actually mashed on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and look at Angel. Uh, I don't see it very oh well. Goodness. Angel actually has a halo. Wait, does Daredevil have a uh, an umbrella? Yes, he's swinging on an umbrella. Oh no, that's actually he used to have a curved uh, stick. Ah, uh, that is very cool. All right. Quick silver Silver has a skateboard. Yeah, the Silver Surfer is on the skateboard. Fat Quick Silver and, and Slow so, Silver Surfer. Yes. Now that is a great cover. You're right, a Toy Crunch. Uh, I like I like these covers. Hmm. I didn't know they were on the back either. I, you know, I've had these before, and I've always had a board behind it, so I've never actually looked. Yeah, he had the cane. Uh, Excalibur six. <laughs> um, look at them. They all look crazy. Crazy. Stick a billy club, Rod. There's children present. All right, um, look at the back. <laughs> Stupid the, middle kid. The crazy gang, right? <laughs> That's cool looking. I didn't realize I was on the back either. Look at crime plan. K R. That's like you. How you spell? Hide out. Hide out. Yeah. H y d e. It's Jekyll and Hide out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here was a. Uh, Excalibur, Mojo Mayhem. The bad guys. That, that's who was. But yeah. So who was? Yeah, who's writing those? Alan Davis and. Uh, <laughs> oh, Alan Davis was on it. It's in, I think it was Chris Claremont. Orf. Yeah, Claremont was the writer, at least through six. Uh, Mike. My goodness. Yeah, the Mojo one, uh, Rod. This one. His art is really clean. It is. It is beautiful. And then look at Mojo on the back. I mean, some stuff like uh, the Punisher. That that stuff like that 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 deserves to be dirty. Um, because that that's the style of the writing. Right. Um. But stuff like this, this is this is clean and nice. Then I got um, Red Sonia. My first Red Sonia. That was loud. Number ten. That was loud. Thank you for I'm middle sorry. kid. Uh, Red Sonia. <laughs> over there now. She, she devil with the sword. Um, so this is actually um, the uh, the Red Sonia with the sword. This is the first one I had. Uh, first one I've ever bought. Um, mostly because she's actually clothed. Um, so she's actually far more dressed than she normally is in that one. All right. So Green Lantern, uh, Green Lantern, the, the Green Lantern corpse or Green Lantern, I don't know, 282. Yeah. At first, Mike, I had a couple and they had this huge time caper with, with, uh, Celine and the whole multiverse thing. And that's all the way that the 616 thing came in. And then, you know, his brother got involved and, you know, and it was just a weird, it was really kind of cool, but I don't know what happened to my collection. They all kind of disappeared. So now I'm having to rebuild my Excalibur. Um, I maybe downgraded at some point and got rid of them. I, I don't remember, but I remember it being a fun romping comic, um, at least through like forties and fifties where I, what I had. Uh, uh, Rod, I still have. A huge stack of detective comics over That's there. What right? happens when you go to two different flea markets in the same weekend? Yeah, well, I, I had, I had, I had a lot of errands run Friday and mail out a lot of books and a bunch of stuff. So I had the, the rest of the afternoon off. So I went to flea market, and then Saturday I was planning to go to another flea market, and I ended up spending. LBD storms not on right? right, more than I probably should have. All right. <laughs> uh, the Titans number ten. I mean, she's she's on live, but she doesn't rewatch. Deathstroke, the leader. Nah, some of you guys rewatch. Uh, like Rod's gonna have to to see what yeah. kind of. Books He's gonna have we to rewatch the first half an hour to get all the to see what I got of the team ups. Yeah. See what's coming his way. All right, JLA thirty eight. World War three. And these again are things fitting into my what's already Superman, run. Superman's taking a missile. A to the missile chest. to the chest. JLA thirty nine. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I, I, in the whole time, I don't remember those being on the back. Um, I had those, I remember I actually collected them when they first came out off the shelf and I don't remember ever having on the back. I don't remember ever looking on the back. Hmm. That's weird, but 
I saw it. I was like, this, or he saw it. It's like, first time I even realized there was anything on the back. Um, Punisher War Journal number five. Is that on? Not that. I'm, I'm good for something now. You plus one. Woo! That takes away, you're still at negative four. But uh, Astro City number two. And we're, we're almost done. Once we finish this pile, guys, we'll be done for tonight. Like five more counts. Um, <laughs> Counting even. <laughs> um, yeah, what? No, you can't count either, apparently. <laughs> Thank you. Negative five. Uh, Squadron Supreme number oh. four. So this was the uh, the first mini series that came out. I had a good segue the other day. You did earlier. have one good segue earlier today. At least, uh. at least you were good on our uh, quick fire reviews. Um, yes. The Punisher number 16. I didn't watch it. Come on. <laughs> um, this is the first time I actually start picking up some Punishers as well. Um, Justice League International Special number two. It's got Huntress in it. Well, we've gone through almost all of our news. No, all of our we news. Get, we hit all our news. Hey, um, Bianca. Aquaman number two. Hey, Bianca. Aloha. Hey. Aquaman number two. This is pretty cool. Look at that. I like, you know, I kind of like this suit better. Yeah, you mean you don't like the orange and green? I'm not a big you fan don't of like the orange the and green. fish scales? I'm not a big fan of Jason Momoa. LBD Storm, I'm looking at you. Um, uh, no, you love him when he's uh, in that Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> um, here's the sub. The, the <laughs> oh, no, that face. <laughs> oh, it's hideous. The, the saga of the Submariner number one. Um, again, it, it, you know, if you guys have any thoughts on Shop Talk topics, please let us know. We'll just just email me because we will, we will do a discussion on it. We're actually mm -hmm. thinking about maybe – um, doing a live stream and bringing a guest on, maybe the guy who submits something that's good. Yeah, and, and like just well, let's have a discussion with you if you if you have a really cool idea. Yeah, like Hawkeye versus Green. Look at his face. Oh, that face. Where is my dinner? <laughs> I've been wearing scuba goggles. Uh, Moon Knight number nine. This, this one actually looks Ooh. really cool. That that that's his face after he puts on the scuba goggles because I've been trying to grab <laughs> all the Moon Knights I can. I, I like Moon Knight. Uh, he's been one of my favorite hey, characters. favorite yeah. single characters. Um, he's been getting on my radar more. All right, uh, Superman. Uh, DC Comics presents. This is a weird weird cover. Superman and the Challengers of the Unknown. It's a night for 1984. Um, huh? Look, that whose perspective are you? Superman looks weird there. Um, who's grabbing Superman's See, legs? what he looks like to me is a trans, trans uh, a dummy for a trans, uh, can't even say the word. Uh, training dummy? No. Test? No, the, the guy sticks his hand up his butt. Come on. Okay. Doesn't he look like a tranviloquist? I can't say the word. Uh, Ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. There you were a little Tranviloquist. I told you I can't say the word. I cannot pronounce it for some reason uh, today. Hey, we, but, we don't make claims on spelling or pronunciation. No, no, the spelling and pronunciation. Uh, I but look at that. Doesn't he look like? Yeah, he looks like a guy that would be on Broadville stuck on a guy's hand. Yeah, but that that's Ray, uh, Ray Dunham exactly. Kirby Superman. <laughs> Yeah, hidden feet. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag butt. Yeah, check it out. All right, so G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, number 64. Cobra Commander. I don't know why I got a G.I. Joe. I think it got stuck to another comic. <laughs> and so now I have this G.I. Joe comic. If you want some G.I. Joe comics. Or just if, one. Just if, the one. If you're missing G.I. Joe, number 64. We have it. Hit me up with an email. All right. Guardians of the Galaxy, number two. Because we are happy to send it to a much, much better home. Yes, we'll send it to a better home because right now it's just going to go into a box in the closet and I'll read it. I will read it because I read everything I buy. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. So we're almost done. Uh, cool. Batman, Legend of the Dark Knight. Uh, this one I picked up. It's called Gothic, but it was written by Grant Ooh. Morrison and Klaus Johnson did the art. So I thought it would be really cool. Only problem is part five of five. So it's the ending. A box of meat. <laughs> yeah, it's like, are you saying I should put E in a box? Thank you. All right, Thank so uh, Detective Comics number five ninety six. I thought that was a pretty cool looking cover. I'm not gonna wear the hat. I'm not doing it. 
um, Detective Comics 601 and Detective Comics okay. uh, 615. The, uh, what, what's that right. say? Penguin Affair? Penguins, Penguin Affair. Yeah. Penguin Affair. All right, guys. So we're done with all our uh, news for tonight. We are done with our comics. Um, for now. For now. now. Rod, watch, watch the replay. Get, yeah. Get the first few minutes of it because I have a stack of like 30 or 40 stuff that you, you know where it's going. So I appreciate everybody joining us. Um, again, we have a shop talk. What is the most offensive, uh, offensive useful. tactical use of teleportation power? So which teleportation power would work the best? And how in, used. in an offensive way. And we, so. we, we go over multiple types of teleportation esque stuff. So quantum mechanics, magic, etc. We bring up characters and fields. How how tearing can... dimensions apart, you know, yeah. Einstein Bridge, a bunch of stuff. So, so I appreciate everybody coming up. Watch the show uh, next week. We also have we're starting a new series. Um, Amazing Spider-Man, Round Robin, The Sidekick's Revenge. Yes. It's going to be a new review series starting up. It's going to be a produced video. I think I have the first one coming up Tuesday. I do not know about this. He did not know. It's a surprise. <laughs> so, And I'm, I'm expecting something from, you know, come in my mailbox. So when that comes, we're going to have a nice opening on that one, too. Mm -hmm. So thanks, guys, for uh, coming and joining us in this live stream. Uh, have a good rest of the weekend and a good President's Day tomorrow. See you next time in the long box. Later. See you next time in the long box. It has been a blast.